I want to show you a quick tip on how to add a hover pseudo class to a table cell and a table row to get you an effect something like this. It's kind of simple. Some people call it stupid, but honestly, it can help direct people's attention to what they're looking at. Now, we don't need a link for this sort of thing. What we're going to do is, do is use the hover pseudo class, it's called. So to get this done, let me go over to Dreamweaver. All you guys got to do is let me close the final product here. Here's the initial product before I started. Got to have a table. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to apply a hover pseudo class to the cell and to the row of the table. So if I insert my cursor in one of the cells, take a look down here at the tag inspector, I can see the TD. So what I'm going to do is come over to my CSS styles as one way to create a style. Click on the new rule. It's going to say, all right, what do you want to do here? Now I can be very generic, which I'm about to do here, but I'm going to type in TD colon hover. Now, if you guys have ever seen links, the link styles, a colon link, a colon visited, a colon hover. The hover pseudo class can be applied to other things as well. I will warn you that in IE6, this most likely won't show up, but in 7 and 8 and other browsers, it should work. So if I go to TD colon hover, make sure there's no space in there, stick it in my style sheet, I'll click OK. And if I come over here, and I'll, I'll do something like maybe change the background color, something kind of simple. I'll just do like a dark gray. Click OK. Let me go test it out. So I'm going to go take a look at it in the browser. Scroll down a bit, and you guys can see. When you hover over a cell, or TD, it changes color. Now, we could infuse a class in there to make it only affect certain cells, but I don't want to get that tricky. Now, next thing I want to do is the row. So, my cursor in one of the cells, you guys can see down here in the tags inspector, I have the TR. So, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to apply it to the TR style here, TR tag. So, I come over to the right, CSS styles, click New Rule. It's going to say, all right, what do you want to do? I'll do TR colon hover, same thing here. Make sure you spell it right. No spaces. Click OK. Do a background color. It could be the same color. It could be any color you want. I don't care. I'll do like a yellow. Click OK. And there are other properties you guys can set. It's not limited to background color. I'll go take a look at it in Firefox or any browser out there. Scroll down a bit. And here you guys go. So what's happening is the TD hover is actually overriding the table row hover. So you guys can see that right there as I hover. Really simple, simple little trick just to give a little more inter interactivity, you know, almost a little Ajax feel to your tables.